A very good afternoon. You're watching News 9 with me, Akshita. And first up, uh, just a few days after the BMTC hiked fares, sparking protests from citizens, it has been revealed that the case RTC is planning to raise the fares in the next few days. Hinting at this, Transport Minister Ramalinga Reddy said that KSRTC had sent a proposal seeking an increase in the bus fares before the elections. But the proposal was not accepted at the time. There may be a marginal increase in fares considering the increase in diesel prices. However, a final decision of whether or not to increase the fares and to what extent will be taken only after a detailed perusal of the proposal. Only last week, remember, we had seen the BMTC announcing a fair increase of 15% and now yet another decision that will not be welcomed by people across Karnataka is that KSRTC is looking to hike its fares. Of course, uh, there is no confirmation in this regard. It is a matter that is still uh, very much uh, under discussion and uh, under scrutiny. However, uh, KSRTC uh, quoting uh, the recent rise in diesel prices stating that uh, a rise is but inevitable. And, of course, uh, Ramalinga Reddy, the Transport Minister, also went on to announce uh, that this was a proposal that was made even before the elections, but was dismissed at that point. Uh, but now, of course, uh, they are looking into the same, seeing if, in fact, it is feasible for an increase in fares of the KSRTC buses. This will be something that will pinch the pockets of uh, the people, of the passengers who use KSRTC on a, a daily basis. No word on exactly how much of an increase we're looking at, uh, but but of course, it looks like it could happen in the days to come. My colleague Nishita joins us over the phone lines with more information. Nishita, no doubt that this will definitely affect commuters to a great extent. Any word on exactly what kind of a hike we are looking at, if there is going to be one, of course? Well, uh, for now, it's in the uh, preliminary stage, Akshita. The proposal has been sent by the KSRTC to the Transport Department at the moment. And uh, as per Transport Minister Ramlinga Reddy's words, uh, he's gone on to say that they have not uh, 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 accepted the proposal and they, have, they would not be hiking the fare as of now. It's only after they get the second proposal, which is only next month, considering that the KSRTC MD is on a vacation right now, only after he returns will there be a second proposal sent next month. That proposal will be scrutinized to a great extent and only then will they decide on whether there should be an increase in prices. What the transport minister has also assured is that there will be only a marginal increase in fare considering the increase in diesel prices and uh, uh, it, it almost becomes like a compulsion uh, to ensure that uh, the buses are maintained and there is adequate money coming in for the entire network to run. So keeping all this in mind, there might be a marginal increase in fare, but that will happen only next month after the second proposal is sent and is scrutinized. As the KSRTC MD is not available at this point in time, uh, the entire issue is pretty much on hold. But uh, the department will also be looking into the first proposal that has been sent in by the KSRTC as to what are the issues the department is facing, the transport corporation is facing due to the hike in diesel prices, uh, due to the increase in maintenance cost. Uh, also, there will be a requirement of of uh revision of pay for the employees as well. So keeping all this in mind, what kind of a hike will we see is something that we have to wait and watch. But the Transport Minister at this point in time at least is assuring that it will be a marginal hike. The last time we saw a hike in uh, KSRTC prices uh, was uh, in uh, it was last year, around uh, June. So it's almost been a year. It's almost going to be a year rather uh, since um, uh, since the last hike, uh, as the last time also it was the KSRTC that was facing the burden due to the diesel price hike. And uh, the burden last time around was about 120 crore rupees uh, per year. Also, the dearness allowance uh, was to be increased for uh, the employees, which would cost the corporation 222 crore rupees. And uh, also there will be, and keeping all this in mind, uh, there was a fair hike done in June last year. So once again, all these factors will be taken into consideration and only then will the transport department uh, take a call but let's also not forget that this comes in the backdrop of the BMTC price hike which has also been about 15 percent which is a fairly a steep hike it has not been between three to five percent it has been a whopping 15 percent so there is a considerable change in the kind of uh, hole that uh, the BMTC is drilling into the pockets of commuters now with KSRTC to hiking prices it might be a huge burden for the commuters whether the government will uh, come in and whether the government will rescue the KSRTC of any sort of a losses so that the burden does not have to be shifted to the people uh, might be very unlikely at this point in time. Let's not forget when the BMTC had hiked prices, we had spoken to the BMTC MD and uh, he had gone on to state that if 
the government comes in each time there is, there are losses if the government comes in each time there are hike in prices uh, then uh, it's a very unhealthy cycle for the transport corporation and that the corporation will not grow by itself and that's the reason why there needs to be a healthy cycle and a certain amount of the uh, price pressure needs to be shifted to the commuters to the users as well but we also need to understand at this point is that BMTC and KSRTC is not only used by the middle class and the upper middle class it is used by the lower middle class as well uh, the people who come uh, below the poverty line as well as it is the cheapest mode of communication so it is them that the, these price the, the price rise will uh, affect the most so KSRTC will have to think uh, many many times before making any hike in the transport department too needs to think of course elections have come to an end and the voting is done but that does not mean that uh, inex inexplicable uh, uh, price hike is done that will severely affect the poor Akshita. Absolutely, Nishita. In fact, uh, that was the point that I was to raise. Uh, the timing of this entire uh, incident of uh, them considering this particular uh, price uh, uh, hike, uh, the ticket fare also. Uh, but also, of course, uh, Transport Minister Ramalinga Reddy himself has commented on the same and very, very clear that uh, they did consider it initially, but because of the elections, they pushed it to the side. So it's definitely uh, going to leave a lot of commuters frustrated that uh, come elections, they seem to have pushed it aside. But later on, it's not so much of a burden for the people for some reason. Absolutely, it is hypocrisy of thoughts uh, that uh, the transport department had to wait for the elections to come, had to ensure that people were not put to inconvenience only because election, elections were uh, uh, coming up. And now that elections are over, every sort of price hike is being looked into, whether it is BMTC or KSRTC. It is very, very unfair for the commuter who is a normal voter as well. And this voter uh, had come out with great hope to cast his vote on the 17th of April. And now that the elections are over, uh, he has to bear the brunt of of uh, uh, such steep price hikes. So it is extremely unfair for the voters, for the commuters. But then, unfortunately, that is uh, the manner in which uh, um, systems have functioned in our country for a long, long time. And probably questions will be raised on the very intention of the KSRTC, as well as the PMTC, as well as the Transport Department on hiking prices. But, of course, they will give the reason that uh, the code of conduct was in place and no such move could have been made. And probably that was one of the reasons as well. But, of course, uh, we understand that uh, the, the ruling party would not want to disappoint the commuters by hiking prices ahead of the elections. It is but obvious and it uh, seems uh, sort of hypo hypocritical. So we might see in the next few days that there being an increase in the KSRTC bus fare. But what we can only hope is that KSRT does not hike it by a steep uh, increase of 15% and that it is fairly marginal so that there is not too much of a pressure because considering the, especially uh, in Bengaluru and in, in regions like Bengaluru and Mysore where we have a lot of uh, outside Karnataka population coming in, migrating here for job purpose on a daily basis. They're coming in from regions like Kolar, from Mysore, uh, they're coming in from regions like Mandya to make a living uh, to uh, the city areas, to the urban areas. So uh, the daily commute of these uh, laborers will be affected and they will be spending a lot more if uh, there is a hike in crisis as they will be commuting in and out of Bengaluru on a regular basis. So there needs to be some special provision at least done for these laborers or these uh, daily wage workers who use the KSRTC on a regular basis, even if they're contemplating a hike in prices, Akshita. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us with all those details, Anishita. But of course, uh, the government and uh, the KSRTC authorities are now contemplating hiking uh, ticket fares uh, around uh, the state, uh, considering, of course, uh, the rising diesel prices. This could be in the offing in the days to come. Uh, as of now, uh, we did see the BMTC's uh, bus fares increase by about 15 percent just last week. So yet another unprecedented hike in ticket fares in KSRTC is definitely not going to be welcomed by the people who will feel that the timing of it is entirely motivated by politics, keeping in mind that voting is done. So they will feel that to a great extent it was pushed until after April 17th and now it looks like the people are in for quite a lot of troubled times. And moving on, a 10-year-old boy, Surya Kant, drowned when he was playing in the swimming pool in Tulip's resort in Banargata yesterday. The shocking incident happened in Tulip's amusement park. And now the parents uh, were seen protesting, uh, keeping the boy's body in front of the resort. <laughs> A 
Well, this is uh, the Tulips Resort uh, Hotel, uh, and of course, uh, this is uh, where uh, the family members uh, stood uh, and protested. Of course, uh, they also vandalized uh, the uh, hotel uh, premises uh, as well. Uh, this is uh, said to be the swimming pool uh, where 10 year old Surya Kanta also drowned. Uh, so, of course, uh, the family members have gone on to accuse uh, the resort of negligence, saying that they did not have the necessary safety precautions that is usually taken up by several of these resorts. Uh, for example, keep a lifeguard present there ensuring uh, that floats and the likes are present. None of that was taken care of and now uh, we do understand of course uh, that uh, things are under control but this is what was witnessed earlier in the day. Family members gathered together there and uh, started vandalizing uh, the property of the particular resort. Uh, they broke glass, threw chairs, uh, also went ahead and broke uh, window panes and the likes. Uh, so uh, the uh, relatives there extremely angry and frustrated by the fact that the negligence, the alleged negligence of the resort led to the death of their loved one. Ten-year-old Surya Khan drowned to his death yesterday and ever since there's been widespread anger uh, with uh, the father Baskar claiming that uh, the uh, authorities at the resort did not help. Uh, there was a delay in rushing him to the hospital and that is what led to his death. They also went on to accuse uh, the police of not filing an FIR immediately. Soon after, they have now carried out a protest, uh, but uh, we understand that the police reached the spot, have managed to disperse the gathering, and also the body has been taken in for cremation. Now, initially, the body was kept outside the resort uh, as a form of protest. And uh, now, of course, all of that has been dispersed. Uh, the cops have managed to calm down the relatives, uh, but the family members have made it clear that they are uh, contemplating uh, seeking a compensation from the higher-ups, uh, but uh, a tragic incident to see in uh, the least and this particular incident has sent uh, several uh, relatives uh, knocking on the doors of the resort as they demanded some sort of action against them and uh, also stated that it was entirely their fault for this particular incident to take place. <laughs> And uh, also, of course, uh, Suri Khan's father, Baskar, uh, went on to tell us uh, that there was gross negligence on the part of uh, the resort uh, authorities. So let's listen into what he alleges. Tulips, a tulips a paper, 150 beta gulia. Our parents go, but I think 200. Our beta go 150 lia. Total, I'm char admin gay under. Tulips, a resort, a resort and associated park. अभी ऐसा प्रॉब्लम होने का बाद उधर बोलिया तो बोलिया डॉक्टर ने हम कुछ नहीं कर सकता दूसरा जगह गया तो मेरा बेटा मर गया नहीं तो मेरा बेटा बन सकता है उधर अगर फास्ट आईडी कुछ बंदोबस्त रहता था तो मेरा बेटा जैसा जान था निश्चित आ रहा था जा रहा था मेरा बेटा बन सकता था लेकिन वो कुछ रेस्पेंटिबली नहीं दिया well, that was uh, the father stating that uh, the, there was absolutely no help from uh, the authorities, uh, no safety precautions put in place, uh, and also uh, the fact that they were present uh, there uh, and uh, they were uh, struggling to get to a hospital and there was no help being offered by uh, the resort uh, people. And of course, uh, it is understood uh, that while everything has calmed down, now the family members could seek a compensation for the loss of uh, their son's life. But a lot of questions have also come in uh, with regards uh, to what were the parents doing when their son had in fact jumped into the swimming pool. It was after all 10 years old, so how could he have been left all alone in an amusement park? This is uh, the Tulips Amusement Park and Resort that came under attack from her relatives who were rather frustrated and very angry uh, by all that had taken place. <laughs> It wasn't just uh, them blaming uh, the uh, resort authorities, of course. Uh, the relatives also went on to state uh, that when they attempted to file a complaint, there was a delay on the police's side in filing the FIR. According uh, to the angry relatives, they claimed that soon after they demanded action against the resort, approached the police, uh, but the cops uh, were in fact a lot rather lethargic in discharging their duty.